Hi everybody and welcome back to school. It's been really nice to see you coming back into the building over the last few days and I just wanted to welcome you back and share some information with you about the teacher assessed grade system that's going to be coming up over the next few weeks and months. The core messages from the school really is to please continue to work as hard as you can in lessons. We're going to give you plenty of opportunities to recap on work you've already been taught and we're going to provide assessment opportunities all the way through this term and after Easter. How's it going to work? So your teachers are going to be assessing the standard at which you are performing now. They've given us enough time so that we can look at what you're doing, assess it and give you grades. What's it going to look like over the next few weeks? Well, up until Easter, it's going to look a lot like review and recap and possibly some in-class assessments will happen at that point as well. The exam boards are going to provide us with some materials, but we're not going to receive them until right near the end of this term. So that means they'll be ready to go after Easter. When we receive them, we'll know exactly what they look like and we'll be able to talk to you about what our expectations are for you so you can really plan your revision for these assessments. What are teacher assessed grades? So teachers have been told to assess performance on what content has been delivered. So it's not the case that if you didn't get to study something because of COVID, because we had to cut courses short, you're not going to get assessed on it. If you didn't study something because of your own absence, which wasn't coronavirus related, then it is possible that those things could come up in exams. But teachers have been asked to consider a broad range of evidence, including exam board release assessments, mock exam papers, non-exam assessments where that's applicable, records of student performance throughout the course, either face to face or when you've been at home, substantial classwork or homework, student capability in performance-based subjects, so things like music, like drama, like PE, and any other assessments can be taken into account. And overall, it won't be any harder or any easier for a student to achieve a particular grade this year compared to previous years. Of course, your teachers know you very well and are going to be able to support you very well in order to achieve grades. Continuing with the process, we are going to be looking at assessment evidence. Now that can be from work you've done previously, but it can also be on work that you do now, after we've come back. Departments have been asked to collate together a portfolio of evidence, which means any of the assessments that you've been doing, they will collect together. Now you might not end up with a file for every subject. You might end up that the teachers are keeping that evidence for you, just in case we need to then submit it to an exam board. But what you do know is that any of that work that you do now could could be used to assess you. You are really key to this process. Working hard now in your lessons, in any assessments that you do, any revision that you're asked to do, classwork and any remote learning. There is always going to be a possibility that some of you are going to have to go home and isolate for a certain amount of time if you're waiting for tests or if you're waiting for someone in your household to have a test. So you might find that there'll be points where you're sat at home learning while the rest of the school are in. For your vocational courses, you've still got to cover the course content and your teachers are really clear about what the content is and what units that you have to do. For vocational courses then, you must continue to complete those. They'll play a key role in your grading decisions. You need to talk to your teachers about your current attainment. How am I doing? What do I need to do? How can I improve my grades? Your teachers have been asked to give us an initial idea of your grades by May half term, but they'll continue to assess you after this date, giving opportunities for further improvement. We're waiting for further confirmation of the date that you will leave. So you need to continue working right up to the point where we hand your grades to the exam boards on June the 18th. Vocational courses have been asked to submit teacher assessed grades, but also units of work. So these units will need to be completed as thoroughly as possible. Continuing with this, we can't just tell you the exam boards what we want. OK, they're going to be checking. Exam boards will quality assure the grades, just like we do in school. We've got a pretty good idea of what you might get, but we're giving you extra opportunities to improve on that, to prove it. 
and the exam boards will check our marking. They will check the evidence that we've said we've got to support the grades. Your teachers are not allowed to tell you what your final grade will be, but they are allowed to tell you how you've done on individual assessments because the final grade is going to be made up of the mock exams, essays you do in class, uh, assessments that you're doing after Easter. The exam boards will release your results on the 12th of August, which is earlier than in normal years. So we want to make it a fair process, okay? And we're pretty confident that our process is fair because we follow the guidelines that the government have set us, okay? There's lots of misconceptions. If you read the papers, there's stories in the newspapers every day, oh, the exam system is unfair, schools are in chaos. Well, that's not true. And hopefully you've seen that when you come back in the building, this is certainly a calm environment with no chaos at all. You stand to do better in these assessments than you might do in your real exams because your teachers know you really well. Your teachers know uh, what you're capable of and they'll be able to assess you. Sometimes in end of year exams, students go to pieces or students are ill during an exam and they can't claim the credit for the exam that they might have. With this process, we're going to assess you continually throughout the next term so everybody will get an opportunity to show what they know. All schools will follow the same quality assurance. So we've been asked to look at our marking in school to make sure that everybody in a department is marking consistently. We've been asked to look at the mark schemes and check that they're applied consistently. And this isn't a new process. Schools provide information to exam boards every single year for things like coursework, for non-assessed exams. So your teachers are really used to saying what kind of level you're working at and giving you grades for it. The only thing that decides the grade that you receive is the quality of the work that you produce. So it's really, really important that you continue to work to the best of your ability, work your hardest, and make sure that you're going to get the grades that you really, really deserve. Your rights. So there's lots of information around student rights. Lots of schools have been really hard hit by coronavirus. We might have had um, students who've had to self-isolate because they've got coronavirus, or we might have had students who had to self-isolate because of a family member. There might be other issues which are related to coronavirus that we can take into consideration. And Here's an example. So in art, for example, you've got to create a portfolio. If your portfolio isn't quite complete, as long as there's enough evidence in there for us to award you a grade, that's fine. And that's not to say that we just stop working because we've got most of a portfolio. We make sure that we continue to work and we continue to improve. But you have to tell us what's happened. You have to tell us if we don't know what's happened in your family, what's happened in your personal circumstances, to ensure that we've got the full range of evidence to help us to give you those grades. I'll talk to you a little bit about appeals. There'll be more information to follow about this. Appeals are going to be handled by the exam board. You can, when you get your grades, you can ask the school to do something. You can ask them to check that we haven't made an administrative error. So to check that we haven't put the wrong number in a box and therefore that's giving you the incorrect grade. And if you're not happy about that, as if that check comes back and we haven't made a mistake, you're then able to appeal to the exam boards and they will review the evidence that we have in school and decide whether or not we have made the correct decision or not. Now, because this process involves your teachers, the people that know you best, your teachers are likely to look favourably upon you because they know what you're capable of. They've got to be fair, they've got to follow standards, but you need to be aware that if your grade does go to appeal, there is a likelihood that your grade could go down as well as up. So you've got to be really thoughtful in the process and be really aware of what evidence is being used because you will know whether or not you deserve that grade or not based on what you do in school day to day. Finally, and I said this before all the way through, you need to let the pastoral team know if there's anything you think we need to be aware of that has or will have affected any of your assessments, for example, illness or self-isolation. You need to continue to focus in lessons and spend time accessing the learning resources. This will help you to revise for all of your subjects, making sure you're really clear on what it is you need to improve and what you need to focus on. 
and um, we'll provide details on what the assessments will look like over the next few weeks. Really, really important, you need to keep applying for your sixth form places. You need to make sure that if you haven't got an application in yet, you do this because sixth forms and colleges are really going to want to have you in their establishments. Take this as an opportunity to really show just what it is you know over the next few months and you're going to be absolutely fine. Keep talking to us, keep asking questions and just be patient because we'll give you more information really, really soon. Have a great day.